Hi, Aries. Welcome to your retrograde um, reading. And this is for singles, okay? So, I will be uploading another reading for couples and then for solely for careers and finances. Now, all right, let's take a look. How will you find love and your pyramid money forecast? All right, how will you find love at this point? Oops, that flipped out. Hmm. Aries, you're still holding on to the past. Okay. You need to let go of that particular person in your past so that you can fully move on and let go. All right. Mm -hmm. Now what's actually missing here? This is the bottom line of your card. Oh, okay. You are still hurt and still trying to live with what might have been and what could have been. Okay? You can't accept the fact that it's already over. It's done. It's like there's no turning back. There are a lot of hurtful things that you've already said to this person and now you're resenting. You know, all the things that you have said to this person and it's already gone. You're wishing for a second chance or you're wishing for another time or another opportunity for the two of you to make things up for you to make up for all of your mistakes and make amends now this person evolved with you especially if you used to be with an air sign or with a younger air sign okay and this person evolved they run away turned away moved on moved forward and now you're waiting if there is still another second chance which for you this person is your you know considered as your soulmate because if you like, there's, you know, it's like there's so much synchronicity. You do have, you know, same brain waves, and it's like, you know, the, the connection is very intense and it's very undeniable. But you, you just don't know why did it all, you know, ended up that way. So you don't know how to make things up. Sorry, you, you, you don't know how to make up for those things that you have said, that you have done, and the. You know, how will you make this person come back? A part of you still feels so proud that you don't want to, you know, um, you don't want to express the first move. Because this person is also very stubborn anyway. And the more you woo them, the more you show that you're sorry or you're resenting, the more this person will be acting all high and mighty. But you don't know what to do at this point. Now, you're thinking of moving. You're thinking that, ah, you know, I'll just soon forget about that person. I'll, I can I can move on, you know, I can replace that person tomorrow, next month, next week, next year. Who knows? And you're thinking of moving. But deep inside of you, you're only trying to be strong. You're only trying to build up your walls. You know, you're only trying to be strong as much as you can. But you cannot really forget about this person because there are a lot of things that you have already shared together that you have would stand together this person have been have been so supportive understanding and everything that you've been looking for in a person but you became or it could be the other way around this is a general reading okay and you feel like you don't know what happened okay you don't know what happened so why things flipped up all of a sudden and it's like it's gone Last week you were so happy and or last month you were so happy and all of a sudden it's gone. So now you're still thinking about the person from the past or from your recent past if this person is still going to come back. But so let's see. Uh, both of you, well, actually, both of you wants to move on, and both of you are actually, b both of you are thinking of same thing, same action, same decision, same, you know. The good thing here is I feel like there are a lot of things that you need to work on yourself first, especially your childhood issues or your psychological issues, okay? Um, you do have some trust issues. That's one thing. Commitment issues. And the way you find love or the, the reason why you really want to be in a relationship. This is something that you need to establish to yourself. Why? Why are you looking for somebody to be with? Is it just because of companionship? Or is it because that you're really in love with a person? 
the thing here is sometimes when you're in a relationship you keep it's like you're very enthusiastic it's you know it's very enticing you're happy and then when your freedom is slowly being compromised right in the middle of your relationship this is where all the issues and problems start coming in and molding you start pulling away or you start pushing the person away okay so the thing that you need to learn in this situation fix up yourself you need to learn how to love yourself learn how to be happy on your own and the right kind of love will come to you and i feel like there is still a second chance for the two of you to be together because i feel like for you this is your one true love and i feel like you do have some past life connection that's why it's so hard for you to move on and forget about this person. Either it's one month or one year ago. There is this one particular air sign person around 30s above, you know, that you're still thinking about. And I feel like third, late 30s or 240s, you know. It's an air sign. And... Um, I feel like this person have also changed a lot of things for your relationship and for your, you know, for you as well. But then at the end of the day, this person felt unappreciated and, you know, um, they've already come to the point that they are the only one who's been giving and giving and giving and they cannot really receive anything. Or it could be the other way around. As I've said that this is a general reading. So it's already up to you how to fit yourself in a reading. If you're an Aries or if you're a moon rising Aries. Alright. But there's still a chance for the two of you to make things up. It's going to take some time. Either it's in within a month or within a year. And then this is the this person is the one who's going to be reaching out, uh, reaching out to you again. Okay. Let them fix their own selves as well because they're really broken they're heartbroken and they are really jaded at this point it's not only you who's broken hearted you know but the two of you are soul connect uh, soul connected or connected to each other or uh, soulfully entwined okay that's the term whatever the other person feels and thinks you also feel the same way. And if ever that you're no longer thinking about this person, you will dream about this person constantly and consi cons sorry, consistently. All right? Now, you will somehow think that, why is it that I keep on dreaming about my ex even though I am not thinking, not even, you know, not even in a moment and not even, you know, whatever it is or whatever time it is. I'm not thinking about that person or don't remember him or her anymore. Why is it that this person is always in my dream? It means that this person remembers you and thinks about you a lot. Alright, so... To answer more, most of your concerns, the two of you will still get back together either within a month or within a year. Alright? And I feel like the feelings will still be solid. It will still be the same. But... The time apart, the reason why the two of you separated at this point is because the two of you needs to grow up apart. You need to realize some things that the two of you cannot really work things together. Okay? You will grow matured emotionally and mentally, and the other person will also be doing the same thing. Even if they're going to have another person in their life or a new person in their life and so are you if the two of you are really meant to be together the uh, you know the people that will be in your lives it will be just a temporary thing because they are meant to be in your lives for a lesson for a lesson to learn all right so let's take a look at your finances or your career if you really want to change your jobs at this point
it seems like right now, Aries, you're having a hard time getting a grip of the situation, okay? And it seems like you don't know if there's still a direction or you don't know if there's still enough reason for you to stay in this job. But I feel like just a little bit more patience, okay? Don't resign right away, especially by the end of the year. Because I feel like whatever your hard works that you've been putting into this work or into this profession, it will come to fruition. Well, to fruition until, uh, well, January next year. Or within a month. If you're waiting for, especially if you're mm, trying to offer a, um, like a promotion, okay? If you want to change your job or your profession, you may consider... Um, having a career in the field of music. I'm not saying that you should play an instrument or sing or whatever it is, but it should, you know. The uh, The music industry is really broad, so it's up to you and how to find your calling in this industry. But I feel like this is, if you're thinking, okay, or if you're not yet in this industry, you're also very sensitive to all the changes that you want to make in your life. There are also some things that you need to upgrade your knowledge. So, so take a crash course, a short course, or take a quick lesson, okay, for you to upgrade your knowledge. Now, as for the other decisions that you have to make, the option is already right in front of you. And there are other career possibilities because you're open, you're very flexible, and you don't really have to worry whether you're going to make it or not because you can and you will, okay? And you're well protected. Plus, travel is also included in your uh, one of your choices. Okay, so I feel like the next work, or if you're looking for any type of job, um, consider um, looking for a job in the music industry or travel industry, or altogether it could be mixed. Okay, or I feel like you're gonna be. Um, you're gonna find a job that is that has some um, travel involved or traveling thing involved. Okay. Now there will be some things that you will find as a like an alternative opportunity around the month of October. But this is not yet the right time for you to withdraw and for you to back off from your current job, even though you feel so stuck, you feel like there's no, you know, there's no, um, um, you know, like a next stage for this. You feel like this is a dead end job and you've tried to offer another position in which you can earn leverage, but then your boss just keeps on promising you or it just keeps on making you some promises that you feel like it will never ever happen and you also want to take another course another lesson or you want to go back to school you know just to change your job because you feel like the job that you have right now or the profession that you're in right now is not really that in demand or you can make a small amount of money i feel like some of you wants to be a part of a creative field or yeah something like that creative field or musical creatives and you're already having a hard time well this used to be your passion but now you you're looking into more practical side where you can have more financial stability okay so there are actually two don't get confused okay so there are actually two one is that you have to be a little bit more patient for you to earn leverage or to have the promotion in your current job right now because by the first month of next year that is where you're going to be getting much more result and fruition from all of your hard works that you have put yourself in in this year or in this job okay and if you're also thinking of changing your job music and travel industry that those are the things that you need to look into or take some you know take into consideration all right so anyway that's it for you for now air singles and if you want to know more and have your personalized readings go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net you may talk to me live on the phone or live video calls or offer a pre-recorded video readings. All right. Blessings to you.